हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड कोहरेंट डिटेक्शन द मॉडुलेटिंग सिग्नल आर द मैसेज सिग्नल एम ऑफ टी इज रिकवर्ड फ्रॉम डी एस बी एस सी सिग्नल एस ऑफ टी यूजिंग कोहरेंट डिटेक्शन सो द मैसेज सिग्नल और मॉडुलेटिंग सिग्नल इज रिकवर्ड फ्रॉम द डी एस बी एस सी सिग्नल एस ऑफ टी यूजिंग ए कोहरेंट डिटेक्शन सो टू रिकवर मैसेज सिग्नल फ्रॉम द मॉडुलेटेड सिग्नल विल यूज कोहरेंट डिटेक्शन इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ प्रोडक्ट मॉडुलेटर विच मल्टीप्लाइज डी एस बी एस सी सिग्नल एस ऑफ टी एंड लोकली जनरेटेड साइनोसाइडल सिग्नल फ्रॉम अ लोकल ऑसिलेटर देन दिस मल्टीप्लाइड सिग्नल वी ऑफ टी इज पास थ्रू ए लो पास फिल्टर टू प्रोड्यूस द रिक्वायर्ड मैसेज सिग्नल फॉर प्रॉपर रिकवरी ऑफ मैसेज सिग्नल द लोकल ऑसिलेटर शुड प्रोड्यूस द आउटपुट विच इज सिंक्रोनाइज with the carrier wave c of t that is generated at the transmitter end if we say synchronized which means the signal that is generated at the local oscillator should have same frequency and phase as the carrier signal that is generated at the transmitter end such type of detection we call that as coherent detection if the local oscillator output is not synchronized with the carrier wave c of t which is used to generate the s of t signal then there will be two errors first one is phase error and second one is frequency error now let us consider the output of local oscillator that can be given as vl not is equal to cos 2 pi f c t plus 5 let us take this as equation number 1 here phi is phase error or phase difference the output of product modulator can be given as v of t is equal to s of t multiplied with v l not so v of t is s of t multiplied with vl not let us call this as equation number 2 now the ds bsc signal can be given as s of t is equal to ac m of t cos 2 pi fct let us call this as equation number 3 if we put equation 1 and equation 3 in equation number 2 we can write v of t is equal to ac m of t cos 2 pi fct into cos 2 pi fct plus phi now here we can use the formula cos a into cos b so we can write cos a cos b is equal to 1 by 2 cos a minus b plus cos a plus b in the above equation let us take this term as b and this term as a so if we use the above formula we can write v of t is equal to ac m of t divided by 2 into cos 2 pi fct plus phi minus 2 pi fct plus cos 2 pi fct Plus phi plus two pi f c t. So in this we can cancel out this two pi f c t with this two pi f c t. So we can write v of t 
is equal to AC by 2 M of T into cos phi plus cos 4 pi FCT plus phi. So this signal will be passed through a low pass filter with frequency centered across FM. So high frequency signal will be eliminated. So we will get only the low frequency signal. So this part of the signal multiplied with AC by 2 M of T is high frequency signal. So this part of the signal will be eliminated. Therefore, we will get the output of low pass filter V naught of T is equal to AC by 2 cos phi M of T. So this is the output of low pass filter. So demodulated signal which is output of low pass filter is directly proportional to the message signal or modulating signal M of T. Here cos phi is the phase error. So cos phi is phase error. If phi is equal to 0 degree which means there is no phase error or phase shift at that case we can write V naught of T is equal to AC by 2 M of T. When there is no phase error the output voltage is maximum. If phi is equal to 90 degree at that case cos 90 is equal to 0 therefore V naught of T will be equal to 0. So since V naught of T is equal to 0 we can say output voltage is minimum. So this effect is known as quadrature effect. This is about coherent detection. I hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.